Let's make fun of Spectre again. So this is Spectre, in case you don't know. I like this drawing of him. It's really good, actually. Check it out. Uh, so Spectre is someone who has single-handedly brought more drama to Nick Fuentes, or not Nick Fuentes, Nick Ricada, the other Nick. <laughs> uh, Nick Ricada's channel than anyone else because he's he's like... I, I really don't know what his specific role in the military is. I think that Spectre is U.S. Marine Corps Reserve. He may have been active duty at some point. I think his face is fucked up because of acne. I, it looks like he was burned by, like, an ISIS fire, like a Molotov cocktail or something. But I think it's, like, acne. Uh, so he, he, he we, uh, thank you for reminding me, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so he, he thinks he's, like, really hard-ass. But what... What, like okay it's it's really really hard for me to like hate someone on my site uh i like i forget i have terrible memory everyone everyone listening to this podcast over a long enough time realizes that i have horrifically bad like short term memory it, unless it's really important unless it's a big deal unless it's like seriously impactful or really really funny um i i forgive and forget Almost immediately. It doesn't matter what it is. To the point where I, I'm almost like too forgiving of people. If they can manage to keep their retard shit spaced out enough, I will, I will forgive basically everything because I just don't have the capacity to hold a grudge against someone. But Spectre is someone who managed to earn a very rare position on my shit list because he insisted on saying we... He used the royal we any time he referred to, like, his opinion and then the forum. Like, he would, like, become the forum's advocate in specific instances and make claims which were not true while saying we, as in him plus the forum. And I hate that. And I think, actually... I hated um, Brian Dunn, King of Pole, for the same exact reason. Like, stop. There is no we. It's you, motherfucker. You are the <laughs> we. The French we. <laughs> it's it's you and your opinion. And when you say we and you pretend that you know things you don't, it, it's like, whoa, buddy. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but it ain't no we. Okay, like calm down, and he, and he refused. He did this multiple times to the point where I still remember this, and I I had to add like a special disclaimer to his profile saying that like everything I say is wrong, and I do not re represent the Kiwi Farms in any way. Like I had to make that very explicit, and people thought it was like a joke he had put there himself, but no, I actually forced that on him, so that there would always if someone screenshotted this dumb as shit he was saying, nobody would have any any false pretense that the little verified check mark next to his name meant that he spoke for anyone except himself and i don't think he even does that half the time because he he's like he does digging he thinks he's like a spec ops you know marine corps infosec like digital surgeon extracting the delicate data from behind enemy lines and shit and then he'll like extrapolate on that so far beyond what is reasonable and present it as substantiated fact when it's died. Like you have one, you have one document and it says one thing and it doesn't say anything else. So I don't know how the fuck you get from point A to point B. Uh, the only thing I can, uh, like sometimes he'll get useful stuff. Like, like he'll call the, um, the courthouse in Virginia and it'll say like hello is is there an active charge against ethan ralph and the, the court will say yes there is and it's like okay and that's substantiated but he'll take that like eight eight steps from what it is and say like oh they um i can't remember the specifics because it's bullshit and i didn't commit it to long-term memory as i said my memory is very bad but he'll say like oh they they said this and it's like motherfucker the call is right there i listened to it myself they did not mention that at all where are you getting this from and it's, it's super infuriating, but he really, really fucked up because at some point after this thread was made, someone went to me and said that he is deleting posts. 
I'm thinking, uh, he shouldn't be. <laughs> he really should not be deleting posts. So when someone deletes their fucking posts, I have to go into the database and run manual SQL queries to figure out what the fuck's been deleted. It's not an easy task. So when I'm tasked to, to look at what he's been deleting and I find a history of like a hundred plus posts that he's deleted over years, I'm not a happy camper. I remember that kind of shit. So I spend an hour undeleting his posts and checking because some of them were deleted just because they're like double posts or whatever the fuck, like legitimate reasons you delete a post. Um, but some of them were not. And uh, the most egregious one that I found in that in that time was something that contained this line. Um, I actually I think it's on the page before. I went through. Yeah, th these are all the posts that I dig up. And I found which ones are these. The ones in red are the ones that were specifically deleted because uh, he wanted to undo them. And the most interesting one that I found was one was where he says this. Dean asked me to help him and I agreed to do so. It's legal as long as I don't claim to be a lawyer or able to resent him in any capacity with the lawsuit. I drafted some of it, proofread it, and gave it to do to Dean to do as he saw fit. There was a brief time, and I don't know if he like still does this or what, but um, he did this thing where oh, there's no clip of it because it's like a boring thing. But he did like a fake. He he literally like copied Nick uh, Nick Ricada. He did like a, a fake um, YouTube lawyer show because he's not a lawyer. He's like a, a U.S. Marine Corps Reserve at best. And he, he like someone points out that he lives in, in like a trailer with like disability income from the government. And that's that's what he supports himself with. And despite this, he does a show where, where he like pretends he like interprets court documents without any legal understanding of what the fuck he's talking about whatsoever. And um he tried to help this guy called, I think it's Dean Asaf and he's being, it was like a frivolous bullshit lawsuit, I think, but he was being sued and Spectre gave this man court documents to file as motions in a legal case. And in this post that he deleted, he specifically states that he was not, a, that, uh, he gave him shit. He, dra he drafted some of it, proofread it and gave it to him to do as he saw fit with. He basically gave him legal advice and said, I can't legally to say that this is legal advice, but if I give you this motion, you can file it if you want to just saying, uh, so it like, it would be, I would be in the wrong to try and interpret if he did under the, the letter of the law in Massachusetts, give the guy legal advice. But I do know the, um, outcome of this, he, the guy he gave the filing to, from what I understand, is being sued by someone in Texas and the guy being sued is not in Texas and he's never been to Texas. So on its face, it should be a jurisdiction issue immediately. It should be, I'm being sued from the state. I have no business in, therefore there is jurisdictional issue. The court does not have jurisdiction over me in Texas. That's a, that's a very rudimentary type of filing. And it may not be advantageous to go for that as a dismissal all the time. Uh, for instance, when Russell Greer sued me in Utah, the court he sued me under probably is not the right court to sue me because I have no business in Utah. Uh, but my attorney didn't file a motion to dismiss under jurisdiction because they wanted to go for merits so that the case would be dismissed with prejudice, which it was. So that's a, that's a, a legal consideration that a lawyer will have, but because from what I understand, because Spectre gave this guy a motion and he filed it, he now can no longer claim jurisdiction. He can no longer claim that. Uh, so I'll, I'll just read what this says. Update. It's official. The court ruled yesterday the guy Spectre was helping by writing his responses in the lawsuit filed against him accidentally waived jurisdiction and his motion to dismiss was denied. One of his co-defendants, who had a real lawyer, was dismissed without prejudice from the lawsuit for lack of personal jurisdiction. In the legal thread for the case, Spectre posted that Asaf would be okay because the court would be lenient on a pro se idiot and that Vicky, the other co-defendant, was officially safe from the suit when the plaintiff was unable to serve her within 90 days. 
She was served sometime after that and defaulted by not responding. So it says here from the, the uh, dismissal, starting with this off, the federal rules of several procedures say that the party can raise certain defenses by motion or in its first response of pleading, including the lack of personal jurisdiction. Though his first response to the FAC, the question, answer that he filed on August 4th, Asaf asserted, asserted several defenses, but none were that this court lacks jurisdiction over him. The court can now no longer consider that as a basis to dismiss the claim against Asaf. So he gave him a filing and he said, trust me, bro, this is this makes sense. So the guy files it thinking, oh, OK, I guess it makes sense. It'll be safe for me to file it. What's the worst that can happen? Well, the worst that can happen is that now his easy get out of jail free card of this court has no jurisdiction over me is no longer possible because he forfeited that and any attorney in the country would know if he filed that motion without trying to plead jurisdiction, he would lose the ability to plead jurisdiction. They would all know that because they went to school for three fucking years to learn this shit, which Spectre did not. And Spectre gave this man bad legal advice uh, and it, it fucked with him because now if this soft guy wants to continue to, to file, he's probably going to want to get an attorney. And the attorney is going to look at this and go, I can't believe you filed this bullshit. We could have gotten this dismissed in the first filing for jurisdiction. Um, but now I'm going to have to undo the damage and it's going to cost several thousand dollars. Uh, so that's why you don't take free advice. Uh, you get what you pay for when you pay for an, a lawyer. And if you pay nothing, you will get uh, equally, uh, equally... I don't know. You'll get what you pay for, which is nothing. You'll get shit. Is what I'm trying. Uh, what I'm trying to say very eloquently is that you'll get bad advice. <laughs> Isn't it kind of silly that the court c wouldn't say it themselves? All I can think about it is some child saying no takey bag suits. The courts can, at their discretion, file a motion sua sponte, which means on its own, right? Spontaneously. Um, they can, but a judge is not on your team he's supposed to be impartial so why would a judge whose job is to be impartial m mediating uh these different parties to the letter of the law say actually you should have filed this it would have been in your favor like that's not his job he's not there to be your lawyer he's not there to help you he's there to look at what you file and he you know a judge is also a lawyer so he might be thinking oh well this person doesn't want to plead jurisdiction he wants to plead other things because he wants to get a uh, dismissal with prejudice which is a valid tactic but then once you do that the the judge says well now you can't file jurisdiction you can't lose on your motion sorry i hit my mic you can't lose on your motion and then go back and try like a step one defense that doesn't work you can't you know what I mean? That's why you get a lawyer. He'll walk you through your different options so you know exactly what to expect. The, the judge, judges are supposed to interpret pro se filings leniently, which is when you're trying to assert a defense, if you fuck up a little bit, he's not going to go, oh, well, you missed your you, you missed your commas and periods here, so I'm not going to accept this. Um, he'll He'll try to figure out what the fuck you're trying to say, but he won't say, actually, you probably should be doing this instead. That's that's the difference. Uh, they'll they'll interpret your filing as you want, but they won't develop legal tactics for you. Self representation is cocked. Um, there's a there's a lawyerly expression about pro pro se litigants. It's like I don't want to, I don't want to butcher it. If I think of it, I'll, I'll say what it is. But yeah, in general, it's like you, yeah, have a lawyer. It helps. Legal soccer job. Yeah, no shit. Now, now I'm knocking off Nick. Uh, Nick. <laughs> I keep calling him Nick Fuentes. I feel like such an asshole. It's because he wore the dress. I fused them in my mind together. He really shouldn't have done that. That was that was in the in the world of optics. That was not a good look, as they say. Any man who represents himself has a fool for a client. That is correct. Thank you, Jennifer Hunt. That's what I was thinking of. Uh, okay. I think I'm done. When did he wear a dress? Uh, Nick Ricardo wore, like, the, the, the hot pants. And she, uh, he, I don't think he wore a dress. He wore, like, hot pants. Um, I mean, he could have worn a dress. I don't watch everything he does. It's possible. Anything's possible on the internet. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Law Fair. Remember to like and subscribe.